Basically, the overall is how to save a life. So we learn airway, breathing, circulation, but it all comes down to how to save a life and how to assess a patient very, very quickly. You're gonna learn a lot about all kinds of medical problems, all kinds of traumatic problems. No matter where they wanna go in, in medical field, they're gonna have a great background. Because I'm working with Newcastle County Paramedics, now we're just adding tomorrow night Christiana Hospital, and I'm very, very excited. So they're gonna go on the transport teams with them. We're in the local fire departments. They have so much hands-on experience, it's unbelievable. My graduates are in nursing school. I have some in medical school right now. I've had some hired on right as EMTs right out the gate. And I have people that are in the paramedic program right now and getting, um, getting their education. My favorite part is getting the chance to come off and ride the ambulance. Um, I think it's a great experience and we get to see things that in a sense teach us what not to do. Like we've seen like drinking and driving, heroin overdoses, and the effects of what it does to you. really like how I can one day be able to save someone's life. Um, I plan to become a forensic anthropologist and I don't know how long in school that's going to take but I'm willing to take as many years as it takes. I really like being at AMS. It does feel like a family like situation. I feel like everyone is there to support each other. Well, in biotechnology we teach um, the four main categories would be agriculture, research and development, medical, clinical, pharmaceutical, and then uh, industrial biotechnology. So they learn from the beginning of each individual DNA molecule all the way through how those things can be manipulated, changed, and affected within those four categories. What we try to do here in biotech is to attack problems in a logical manner. Um, usually through the scientific methodology, we see what the problem is, the kids probably, or the students probably take a look at it. We break it down into sections and we don't look at the overall, uh, overall problem as a big problem. We break it down into steps. We'll do the DNA. They like to extract the DNA out of the strawberry. They like that one. They like anything to do with the end. They do like the dissect. Well, I'm half and half on the dissection. Some like it, some don't. We can do, the kids are interested in veterinarian uh, type careers. They're interested in CSI, forensics. They're interested in laboratory work, genetics. And biotech is so diverse that we can give them many, many opportunities to go in many fields and that's really attractive to a lot of students. The one constant I would say that we have in biotech is A&P Technologies down in Newark with uh, Dr. Ray Yin. And we're partnering with him with an internship. And this is our third year we're partnering with him with a pesticide um, internship program. He's very, very pro-active uh, with us. He's actually given our uh, students some jobs where they're doing it in a process or they're manufacturing these pesticide kits that our students have been uh, using to test pesticides, residual pesticides on fruit and produce uh, that are coming out of our local uh, markets. One of the best things about my shop is our laboratory experience instead of sitting at our desk learning about the lab and um, equipment there. We get to go and use it ourselves because we went and modified some bacteria and we got to make them glow and that was a lot of fun. Our senior year we get to co-op and we, um, one of our options is a veterinary clinic. So I got to get a job I enjoy doing with animals. The thing I like most about it, yeah, I'd say is the labs. The labs are extremely fun to do, especially like the dissections, love them. You know, see all these different body parts. I mean, you get to open up, you can use scalpels, almost like you're um, junior surgeon. The people there are amazing. We have like a family relationship, brother, sisterly relationship. Love them. They're like the highlight of my day, honestly. They learn anatomy and physiology concepts as well as concepts, key concepts to prepare for the certification exam, as well as concepts in taking care of their patients in any, um, in any medical setting. And students enjoy the most taking care of patients and actually what they have learned in class and apply into a clinical setting or in their skills um, setting as far as how to take care of a patient that just had surgery or a patient that um, has a urinary catheter, a patient that needs to be transferred, transferred from a bed to a wheelchair and how to take care of feeding a patient. So the skills that are learned in the classroom setting and actually, actually hands-on, the students enjoy the most. You would want your child nurse technology, from my experience as a CNA, it helped me prepare physician as a registered nurse. You become very confident in your skills, you're very knowledgeable, you have um, more of an advantage of any um, person that's just starting out in the field or in college, a college setting. It's great that they actually have their certification before they even graduate, so that's a really good asset for when a college application. 
I have to say, so far, the kids enjoy going to clinical the most out of everything. They do enjoy their lab time, but going in and dealing with real people um, is a pivotal point for them. I think that when they get in there and they realize that the care of another human being is in their hands, it changes them as people. So the business partners that we've had thus far are very interested in returning St. George's students. So we've actually been contacted by several to continue the flow of co-op students. I have to tell you that the difference in these kids from the first day of clinical to even two weeks into clinical is absolutely remarkable. The difference in their maturity level, their confidence level, their skill level, it changes every day and they really transform as people during the clinical experience. What I like most about being in nurse technology is that we get to help people. We get to help elderly um, basically live. We get to help them bathe, brush their teeth, change their clothes, and we actually are going to clinical soon. And we get to experience that in real life instead of practicing on just mannequins. Uh, my favorite activity is the labs and learning how we can help other people live. I like to help other people, so that means a lot to me. Uh, what I like most about being in there is I love helping people out and working with them, making sure they're okay. My favorite activities are going back in the lab and doing lab skills with like my friends and my clinical partner. After high school I plan on going to college and going further in the nursing career, trying to go for like probably my RN. Well in health information what we, what the students learn is medical coding and billing. So basically they're getting hospitals and doctors and providers paid. We do a lot of anatomy projects where they're actually creating body parts. They're actually creating a game or an activity that includes their anatomy and their um, learning as far as what's going on inside of an office. So they actually have to come up with a skit or they have to make an infomercial or they actually have to design the body part. Yeah, well, we are one of the biggest growing fields that's out there. Right now, between 2014 and 2024, there's a 17% increase in jobs. And that is the leading uh, percentage over all occupations within the medical field. Our program here at St. George's has been successful every year in placing two to three students with career, uh, with business partners who actually hire the students. I have a student who's attending Rutgers for pre-med. We have students into nursing programs. We have students that are going on to our community colleges with the HIM program with there as well that plan to be healthcare administrators. Our business partners, we usually have more partners than we can fill jobs for, which is fantastic. We always want that. I like finding the medical coding for it because you get to find a whole bunch of different diagnostics about stuff that you never even would have thought would exist. I plan on going to college and continuing my education and hopefully eventually becoming a pediatrician. I really enjoy how it is a perfect foundation of the medical, uh, the medical career area and I really enjoy how there's different activities and different ways we can learn our information. My favorite activity to do in health information technology is we have different projects and different ways to learn the information such as we can make board games and we can have different presentations, different PowerPoints, different ways to just kind of go about the activities. After high school, I'm looking forward to go to Dell Tech, take up health information technology. Well, as sophomores, we do athletic training skills, and as juniors, we focus on physical therapy skills. I believe they enjoy the hands-on experiences the most because it backs up the theory from the book, and then they put it into practice. Well, this college uh, prep curriculum really does prepare the students for the next level, so we're looking to apply medical terminology. Our anatomy and physiology is really important. The business partners are the backbone of our of our third year. They provide hands-on experience on the job and we can't duplicate that in the classroom. So we take our two years and we apply it really to a hands-on situation and we get to see injured tissue versus just working with healthy tissue all the time. We learn about various injuries to like any body part. After high school I plan to go to college and take up a physical therapy and become a physical therapist. It's really a good beginning for if you want to join the career, it's, we, get, we get to learn a lot about the information that it's, we're going to have to do on the field. We get like mentally and physically prepared. What I really like about athletic healthcare is the way that we learn things. So right now we're learning the muscles and bones and their attachments in the body and we're going up the body in a way that it makes sense and we learn in a system that makes sense on how to learn it. I enjoy the way that we do our checkoffs, so that's when we have to like 
palpate the muscles and bones of the human body, and it's just a really neat and hands-on way to learn the things. After high school, I want to go to college and study sports medicine, physical therapy, and I want to go on eventually to be a pediatric physical therapist. I think it's a really good experience if you want to go into something in athletic training or physical therapy. It's a really good way to get started and get the basic knowledge for that career. Medical assistants students learn both administrative and clinical skills for an outpatient setting. So they're learning both front desk area duties such as reception work, uh, billing, insurance, things like that, but also learning how to assist a physician with any type of clinical procedures in the backside of the office. Probably have to say pro the clinical skills, um, especially administration of medication, which is giving injections. Uh, they also love to draw blood and EKGs, um, anything where it's hands-on and um, where they have contact with the patient in a, a unique way rather than just um, vital signs, things like that, something a little bit more invasive. Everybody is in a different field. We have uh, one student who's an administrative at Nemours, and we have another student who's doing everything clinical in a family practice, and yet two other students that work in a hospital setting. So that just goes to show the versatility of medical assisting and the fact that they're in all different types of settings, um, but yet all have the same basic skills. Well, that's probably be a combination of both satisfaction and pride. Um, I love it when a student, even a, in the 10th grade year, come back and due to a personal medical situation go, I knew what they were talking about, I knew what that word meant. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a satisfaction there in that I've educated them enough that they can personally now understand things, but also when they've actually used the skills they've learned in the classroom out in the real world and they come back and, and feel pride in themselves and what they did. Um, I really like how it's a very rounded out shop. You learn a little bit of everything. You learn um, specific anatomy and then you learn more about the clinical areas of any medical job. I really like going back in the lab and working on um, injections and phlebotomy and certain things that are more specific to the clinical area of the whole field. I'm going to go to college anywhere, I don't know yet, and then I hope to become a physician's assistant. What I like most about medical assisting is that it's a challenge. It's like well, learning about the medical field, anything in it is not like the easiest thing to do. Learning about like the body's anatomy and all these different types of diseases and the different names for the different parts of the body and all the systems, it's difficult, but it's something that will help me in the future. We have been using St. George's students in our front desk call centers. We've used St. George's students for over five years now and have been thrilled with the product. Um, students do everything from learn electronic medical records to assisting with our front desks, our call centers, medical records departments. Um, and they, prov they provide an active role for us as employees. Um, we don't treat them as students. They're trained as if they were coming into the workforce um, as if anyone coming off the street. Um, we've hired in my practices several students um, directly after graduation who've stayed with us for years and it gives us a great opportunity to learn what kind of employee we're going to get. Newcastle County EMS selected uh, paramedics that had expressed an interest in mentoring a high school student. Uh, would pair up the, the student with the paramedic and as they go on emergencies and as they operate and as they do their daily job duties and responsibilities, the student has a chance to ask questions, to uh, get a better understanding of the environment and the working conditions for a paramedic. And it's a, an opportunity to potentially develop the, the next generation of paramedics or emergency medical services provider while at the same time expanding a high school student's experience and exposure to opportunities within the healthcare career field. 